King Charles II told this tale to all with whom he spoke, how he escaped a terrible fate by hiding in an oak. After the Battle of Worcester, King Charles, who lost, had fled. Pursued by Cromwell's soldiers, with a price upon his head. With his royal manner, it was feared his foes would recognise him, and so his loyal followers thought they needed to disguise him. They found a coat, a hat, and shoes that were rough and unpleasant, to give Charles the appearance of a poor and lowly peasant. But King Charles still looked too regal. His skin was soft and fair, so they rubbed his face with walnut oil and cut the royal hair. Near Boscobel House there stood an oak, with leaves and branches thick. King Charles was taken to the tree, and told to climb up quick. As Cromwell's soldiers swarmed about, still searching for their prey, they did not notice that King Charles was only feet away. King Charles escaped to exile, till he was restored to glory. And the legend of the royal oak was one of his favourite stories. Boscobel House is a mansion in Shropshire with a very significant oak tree growing in a field nearby. And that oak tree is the descendant of the one in which King Charles II hid and so saved his life when he was being chased by his enemies after losing a battle. In 1651, the young King Charles II invaded England with a Scottish army. It was intended to avenge his father, who had been executed by English revolutionaries two years before. Instead, it was destroyed at the Battle of Worcester, and the king had to escape. The king escaped because he fell into the hands of Roman Catholics, people practicing a forbidden religion, who were used to hiding their priests. They owned a house at Boscobel, and when the house itself became too dangerous, they put the king into an old oak tree nearby in a field, and he was able to hide there through the day. The Boscobel story is odd among legends in that it's actually real history, but it has these mythological overtones, associating the king with spirits of nature, with the tree that is the king of the wood, rooting him literally in the English landscape for all time, and providing monarchists with an actual physical object which represents the survival of monarchy against all odds. In that sense, it has all the classic trappings of a legend.
The sources for the Boscobel Royal Oak story are Charles himself, who kept on retelling the story to sometimes wearying extent after he was restored as king, but everybody else involved in his escape also wrote their own accounts, which got published. And of course, there's the tree itself and the house, which remains as they do today in the same places and in much like the same condition. When the original tree died, a sapling was planted from it. And so that's the tree we see today. The moral of the Boscobel story is not to give up hope when the whole world seems against you. It's to trust the natural world when civilization lets you down. And it's that when the world seems to be your enemy, a few faithful friends can see you through. <laughs> <laughs>